If you're a person that's feeling overwhelmed day to day and feel like you're just living life moment to moment, minute by minute, and to only doing things that are necessary rather than doing the things that are important to you, this might be a video for you and it might be one that will give you some tools to help you live a happier and healthier life. Quick disclaimer though, this video is not one of those videos that's going to talk about anxieties or things like that and I definitely don't want to go down the mental health route. This is purely just how do you stop feeling overwhelmed not living the life that you want to live, doing the things that are important to you. Please move on from this video if you think this has anything to do with those things because I'm very much going to say it's not. Now for most people, we do, we tend to live a life feeling like we're just consumed by making sure that we go to work, we look after the kids, we do our little bits of study or the things that we need to do and we have no time to do what's important for us. My problem with that is that if things are important enough for us, we will sacrifice other things to make sure we get what we want. I think one of the biggest things that most of us need to remember is that if we do the important things first, then our day is going to be better from the get-go. We take up the first minutes or first moments of the day for us. Marcus Aubrey wrote a book called uh, Win the Morning, Win the Day. Steve Covey said, put first things first. And really, if you want to live the happiest and the healthiest life possible, do what you want first thing in the morning and do the necessities after that. That might mean, though, that for most of you, that you have to get up out of bed a little bit earlier to do what you want. Now, let's say, for example, it's exercise, eat well, do anything that's going to make you healthier. Maybe you want to start to read more books, watch more movies, or listen to more podcasts. My recommendation is set your clock to get up an hour or even two hours earlier than you do now. Sure, that might be a super early start to the day, but there is nothing wrong with going to bed or finishing your day ridiculously tired. If you want to live the life that you want to leave, lead, sorry, lead, win the morning by doing what's important to you. Personally, I read books first thing in the morning. On the days that I don't start at the 4.45 class at our gym, I get up at quarter to five, I make a coffee, I drink my water, I do all those things that we're supposed to do. Let me refrain, let me go back. This is what I do on the days I don't coach. I start my day, I get up at quarter to five. I drink a glass of water. I make my coffee, I grab my book, and I go and sit on the couch, and I set a timer to read for 50 minutes. That is an hour before my wife or my son get out of bed. The dogs will kick around. I wish they didn't, but they do anyway, and there's nothing I can do about that. But what I can control is when I get out of bed. Them needing to go to the toilet and mucking up my reading schedule, that's just gonna happen. On the days where I do work at 4.45, for me, what's important and what I want is to read books. So I get up at 4, 3.40 to then be able to do the same routine. Now, I can't read for as long, but I still get at least 25 minutes worth of reading in at that time of the day. For you, that might be exercise. Somewhere like Vast Strength and Conditioning, we do 4.45 a.m. classes. That allows our people to do what's important for them. We also run 5.45 classes, but that is purely so that our athletes can get out of bed, do what's important, which is their exercise, before they have to worry about the rat race of getting to work. We also do offer afternoon classes, but what we find is that the people who work all day, then they come and work out. That works better for some people, but if you are missing out on what's important to you, for example, after school you have to sort out children's events. Maybe you've got dance concerts, maybe you've got dance classes, football, basketball, all of those events and your kids are limiting your afternoon time, you're now only doing what's necessary. So the necessities in life are gonna be anything that is work, anything that is kids, and anything that is out of your control that you have chosen that needs to get done. I think to wrap this up, what I'm really trying to get across to you is, if you wanna live a happier, healthier life and do the things that you want, make them important, but do them first thing in the morning. There's something else you're gonna to have to give up for that, whether it's sleep, Maybe it's, schedule, maybe it's different things. Maybe you can start later at work. Maybe you can do, maybe you can set your own schedule. I don't know. But do what's important first and then you'll start to really feel like you're living a more fulfilled life. 
and, and, a, and a happier and a healthier one on your terms rather than being stuck down by the rat race. Anyway, I hope this video has helped. If you have any more questions, um, feel free to reach out to me, ask anything about this sort of thing, but hopefully that's been able to help you. Uh, enjoy us, Coach Scott, off, signing out, boom, done.